Hi de ho, ladies and children. Uh, Purse of Epirus here, doing a bit more event stuff. Uh, and you may say, No, no, Paris, you saw that. You did Mandragarak. No. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like winning some games, for Christ's sake. Um, I'm using Fate and Exiles, which is the Iron Hands one. Fuck me. I mean, so if Mandragorax really is this good, right? <laughs> like. 40k lore is it all wrong? Like Mandragorak shouldn't have died in his van. He should have stomped around, like killing Horus, just on his own, ending, uh, ending the heresy. You know, <laughs> fucking idiots. Right. So, solid deck. You need to try it. As you can see, currently four for zero. Typically on a single ticket, but um. My last three have been against Mandagoraxes, so I thought I'd share with you what happens when Mandagorax meets Mandagorax. So as you can see, loads of people play Mandagorax. Kind of looking forward to that re um, reinforcement. Because... Fucking hell. Ooh. Yeah, it's a cool little feature now. So, um, as you can see, you start off pretty much the same. You take pot shots at each other. I get Sistar out early. He's difficult to kill, even with a Mandagorax, like, you need a Seek and Destroy. Um, and that guy's an engine, man. I mean, you all know that because you'll have played against Iron Hands. And you'll know that this is a guy that needs to die super fast. Um, uh, but I decided to go on an adventure with him. That guy's cool as well. Like, this deck is just really nice. It synergizes. Like, the whole point is you're just plowing damage onto his board. So Terex Squad works well. This makes things cheaper to allow you to keep plowing stuff with your uh, ability. Giggity. Um, and then you play like Captain Bargess, and it's like, oh, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit, you know, because this guy survives, and now it's a 2 2? Oh my god, and, like, this, all this Relentless, man. Fucking March the Relentless. Unbelievable. I'm just getting this board out of like, Damage, man. Because that guy's going to be a 5 5 next turn. He can, deals 2 damage every turn on top of his attacks. This guy can deal damage. He deals damage. It's just damage, bro. Just damage. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got obviously the nuts draw and my satellites are working for me, and, but it's not all luck, like this deck is just, it just outcompetes the other decks in this event. Yeah, and I would, I would have, I would have, I would have conceded there, like, um, I think I went second as well, maybe I didn't. I'd definitely go second in one, two of these. So, like. Oh. So, yeah. Usual stuff. None of the Mandragora decks generally have something to do on turn one, apart from Terran Squad, but, you know, 1 in 15 of drawing it, so. If it's a 2 up, which it might not be. Must be. That's not. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to do when I'm like playing so because you might be sitting there going, Pyrrhus, why don't you just slap him for two? And the reason I'm doing that is because actually what I want him to be doing is reacting to me. I don't want because the moment that he like Mandagorix and Mandagorix, the moment that one of you is putting out creatures which your opponent needs to react to, like it's you're on the back foot, basically. You know. Um, I'll just get rid of this guy. I might leave him. 
I'm like, so I leave this guy alive. I don't know, maybe it's the bad call, but it's, I'm trying to discourage him from using his ability because he doesn't want to kill it in his turn. <clears throat> Which, you know, leaves me options. Uh, what do I do? Yeah, so the stun guy is actually quite neat. Um, you know, it'll die now, provided that guy is still there, but that's good. <sighs> so yeah, that's quite good. I got McCormick's back, so I'll have another chance to deal full damage. I don't know whether or not the trade-off is good enough, like whether or not you should just like flat out, just take the full damage and lose the card, but I, don't know. I think it's good like as a psychological tool. It just makes him second guess about using his ability. Like he should use it now. Ooh, yeah, he should use it now. Oh, okay. Eh. Whatever. Uh, this was quite a well-natured fight, in my opinion, so it went back and forth. Like, you know, I quite enjoyed it. I don't know about him. I hope he enjoyed it. Um, like, there is a bit of a health gap, but it, it sort of felt a lot closer than maybe it was. Because he just kept getting stuff out on the board. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's got quite a nice curve, you know. Mandagorax. <clears throat> Yeah, so this is another thing, like he didn't kill it, and I sort of get that, but I sort of don't. Like, I don't know, I just feel, I guess he was trying to like get as much damage onto me as possible, but yeah. So I test the wars, see what that guy's going to target, because now I can gold stones into that guy, which means I can deal 8 damage to his face. So this is sort of why I was thinking, why didn't he kill this guy? Like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And all of a sudden I've got a pretty hefty, horrifying board. Because whatever happens now on the white board. You know what I mean? He just got lots of shit. <clears throat> and there goes his boat. <clears throat> so like, I think a lot of that could have been avoided, like if he just murdered that with like traded the two creatures to save the six or seven. You know. Even now, I know he's on low health, but like even now he's still getting loads of troops out. That's why Mandagorax in this is just ridiculous. Like, you know? Yeah, you backpedal. You backpedal, son! Kapow! So like, Mandagorax is about keeping that momentum, not letting them wrestle sort of the initiative away from you. Um, you know, um, it's about playing big creatures at the right time, you know. It's quite easy in, and I do this all the time, it's quite easy in, in uh, Horus Heresy to like save back creatures and troops because you, you, you want to get other things done and they feel more important and actually at times it's just worth putting a guy on the board and making them react to it. You might lose it but they're spending that turn dealing with it and that in of itself it hands you initiative, they're reacting to you. I'm really really bad at doing that sometimes. Um, you know, like you know, chances are I lose that guy now. But I deal full damage, he's had to react to it. You know, he may have played his own creature at that point. I don't know. You know? <clears throat> I 
on the fence about that decision. I don't know if I should have kept it back, you know. But given that he jammed it, I guess... Eh, would have been full damage anyway, had he attacked. So obviously I defend satellite here, you know, 50-50. I got a tails, fair enough. I've got nice health leads, you know. He gets rid of my barges, gets five damage on my face, and all of a sudden, you know, it's looking a bit more even. But just the cards in my hand, man. I mean, like, not only have I got Iron Hands cards that are sick, I've got Imperial ones like Duke Mortetcha, and I've got Mechanicum ones like Coriol's Eth. Like, this deck is just filled to the fucking lid with ridiculously cool cards. Like, whereas in, in this context, at least, you know. And, you know, th this guy's doing a really good job of sort of keeping me under pressure. Like, I mean, he, yes, I'm making him react to me like, with that shit. But, you know, he's giving it as good as he gets. Like, if this is an Argle Tal deck, it would just die. <laughs> like, if it was uh, Erebus, it would be like, okay, you make your massive sport. I'll just murder you in the meantime. Like, this guy is. I mean, he knows he's lost at this point. I'm not losing. Um, and he's guessing I've probably got to seek. But. Yeah. You know. So. That's a bit of Mandagorax on Mandagorax. I hope. I hope that was interesting. Um, I do think it highlights. The. Perhaps this event, there's still an imbalance and it needs a fix. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, it's going well for me. <laughs> um, you know, you can still do well. Like, and you should still play other Warlords. It's just, I think if you want to get like a 12 ticks win, this is probably the uh, most expedient way of achieving your aims. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, I'd like to say I was really chuffed, so, I mean, in my Wordbearer's release video, I got something like, well, I mean, at the moment, I'm on some, like, 160 views, and that's fucking overwhelming. Um, you know, thanks very much for everyone who's taken the time to listen to me ramble. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, like, it's cool, and I have you guys thank for that. So, I'll keep bringing out content hopefully um you'll still want to watch it um but i'll i guess i'll see you on the ladder or in the event tati buys